Warning, this video contains themes of suicide and depression. If you don't like these topics, please click off the video. If you have depression or are thinking of suicide, please call this hotline. With that out of the way, let's begin. The normal elevator is a silly game about going through different floors on an elevator and having crazy things happen. But every happy thing has its dark side. This is Gavin's story. Throughout the game, you can spot little clues about Gavin's death. In the Jason floor, if you zoom out and look behind the tent, you can see a man hanging himself, and a note. This note reads, Dear Duffy XX, I have come to the realization that you don't love me anymore, and ever since I've moved to this town, it's been pretty depressing, but when I saw you, I immediately fell in love. I've tried talking to you, but every time I come out of my house to see you, I get scared. I also get blown up by you. I have heard all of your hateful words about me. And I thought, hey, she only hates me right now. I just gotta treat her better. But you still hate me. So I'm sorry for bothering you so much. I have moved out of the house and will never bother you again. You don't have to see my face again. It's all okay. My buddy Mikey Wikey, Michael, has moved into the house. And he's a nice guy. Maybe then you can treat him good. Cheers. Love, Gavin. A short explanation of this would be, Gavin fell in love, but she didn't love him. She hated Gavin, so Gavin tried to be better, but it wasn't enough. His friend Michael has moved into his house, and he hopes she will treat him well. Another clue is in the speedrun level. Instead of doing the level normally, if you go to the right side of the starting area, you will see rocks. If you jump on those rocks, you will find yourself in a hallway. If you follow the hallway, it will lead you to four elevators with the elevator in the back right having blood in it. My speculation is that this is Gavin's workplace, with the tiled floor and grey walls. I think that it's the workplace from The Normal City, aka the game that came before The Normal Elevator, because inside of that building it also has the grey walls that you see here. I'm thinking that this is the last elevator Gavin took before he killed himself. He took it going home from work. And don't worry, I'll make a full timeline at the end of the video, so stay tuned. A third hint that ties into this is the breaking floor level. I cannot get the footage for this, so I had to use somebody else's. Credits down below. If you go out into the hall and shift lock through the door, you can see a dark shadowy figure. This is what I'm thinking possessed Gavin. More on that later on. The clues that are in the normal elevator end here. But there is a second game called The Normal City. This game came out before the normal elevator, but takes place after the death of Gavin. Here is one clue from Gavin that I can get here. In the patch in between the pink and purple houses is the dirt mound. If you click on the dirt mound, you'll see this message. That code, 3792, is important in the normal elevator to activate Gavin's story. For now, let's move on to Gavin explaining everything. I will now play Gavin's story from the normal elevator, without interruptions. After it is done, we will analyze the important bits.
fancies. I am shown near your ignorance. You are oblivious. I have been getting signals. Calls for help. And you've ignored them all. I've been here the whole time, waiting for you to care. And you never did. In the beginning, Gavin says this. Do you have any idea what it feels like to love someone to have a heart broken by them? This implies that Gavin really did care for this unnamed woman. Alright, editor's note. I was editing and I realized that I said unnamed woman instead of Duffy XX because it says Duffy XX in the letter. So, um, anytime I say like unnamed woman or the woman, just... Disregard it and think of Duffy XX, but she broke his heart with the hateful words, as shown in the note previously. Another interesting thing that helps with the timeline is that after he says this, you get transported to the speedrun level that had the business-like place in it. As previously stated, he went on his way home to write the note and kill himself after he went to work and down the elevator. Moving on, a little bit later, Gavin says, After Gavin says this, you see the breaking floor level that I mentioned earlier. If you look behind the door, you can see the shadowy figure, which I am presuming possessed Gavin. Gavin slash the shadowy figure was going to reveal itself, but says this. Let me get straight to the point. You are all the same. And that's why you're here. You don't care about me. You only want to entertain yourselves. Afterwards, you are shown nine doors. You have to pick the second one. After you enter that door, you see a version of the main lobby. The real Gavin says this. The shadowy figure interrupts Gavin, telling him to shut up. 
then is aware that you know that he was the one talking to you instead of Gavin. After, he says that the player or Gavin won't be able to witness anything ever again. Then says, After, we see a coming soon screen. But in the early builds of the normal elevator, it would do this after the light darkened. You know, I loved Gavin. I really did. But when we would roast weenies and tell ghost stories, Gavin wasn't there. During Halloween, when we would wear masks and scare people, Gavin wasn't there. You know where Gavin was? He was with the wrong lover. That is all the evidence for the timeline. Now, let's piece these together into a full story. First event, Gavin falls in love with this unnamed woman, but the woman says hateful things about Gavin to him. Second event, Gavin tries to change the way he is around her, but to no avail, she still says those hateful things. Third event, his friend Michael moves into his house after Gavin leaves. Fourth event, Gavin is heartbroken by all the hateful words coming from her. Fifth event, Gavin goes to work the next morning with his heart broken. Sixth event, Gavin takes the elevator to the first floor and exits the building. Seventh event, Gavin walks home and writes the suicide note we see in game. Eighth event, Gavin walks into the forest and hangs himself. Ninth event, Gavin gets possessed by the dark shadowy spirit slash figure. Tenth event, Gavin gets silenced slash killed by the spirit after the spirit shows up to the player about Gavin's death. Eleventh event, Michael, who is now depressed, turns insane. Twelfth event, Michael builds an area under Duffy's house. Thirteenth event, Michael wants to kidnap Harlem Shake. He even has a plan on what he's going to do to him. Now, I can't find any reasoning why he wants to, but I have a theory. Maybe Harlem Shake tried to also date that woman and succeeded, causing Michael to want to trap him. Because, in his eyes, it's Harlem Shake who drove Gavin to suicide. These are all the clues I can find for the timeline of events. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, and have a good day. See ya.